remarkable efforts of the Minister of Social Development and the County Steering Committee in effectively coordinating all the cash transfer programs in the county during the drought and El Nino times. Although they are diligent work, through their diligent work, we have been able to ensure that the right beneficiaries are targeted and they receive support they needed. I am proud to announce that over the past year, nine state actors have dispersed 1.7 billion Kenya shillings to the vulnerable families, making a tangible difference in their life. Persons living dis with disability are the greatest beneficiary. That's what the, the secretary was saying when he was, when he was here. We did a joint targeting. We never had duplication. Of course, uh, most of our programs were short-term programs. It ranges from three months uh, to seven months. And fortunately, when the drought persisted, then they again extended their programs. We are really happy. And we are able to save lives during that time. Furthermore, our commitment to improving the life standard of our vulnerable communities is evident through Mandera County Vulnerable Housing Program. Madam Wazir, so far we have constructed 254 houses and 304 toilets across the county with plans underway to build another, 148, another 148 houses and toilets in the coming years. These endeavors demonstrate our dedication to provide safe and suitable shelter for those in need. Supporting orphans and vulnerable children is another crucial aspect of our mandate. To date, we have dispersed 55.5 Kenya shillings, 55.5 million Kenya shillings to registered orphanages, orphanage centers in the county. Countries across the world have adopted social protection strategies to complement and strengthen their efforts in reducing poverty and vulnerability. Particularly, social assistance is an important instrument in enhancing inclusively, especially to the often forgotten categories of our population while helping them to have a dignified life. 
Kenya is among a number of countries across the globe that have embraced cash transfer in the quest to enhance the livelihoods of the most vulnerable in the society. As we all, the government, implements the Inua Jami program transfer, cash transfer program, comprising of the older persons, the vulnerable children, and the persons with disabilities, by benefiting them with food in the Asal counties to which Mandera has been a long time beneficiary. And just to mention that for Mandera in the cash transfer program, we send 31 million per month. Just wanted to correct the county commissioner and we benefit about 15,000 individuals, not 3,000. Maybe that was for the sub-county, but for the whole county, uh, we have 15,000. And for the upscaling program, you'll have another 15,000. So that will come to about uh, uh, a double the figure that we are already giving. Currently, the number of beneficiaries for the Inua Jamii Cash Transfer Program countrywide is 1.2 million, out of which 47,000 households are for persons with severe disabilities, and by the end of this financial year, we shall have a total of 1.7 million Inua Jamii beneficiaries with persons with severe disabilities being scaled up to 65 to 81 households in Kenya. The report we are launching today brings to the fore the huge burdens experienced by households of persons with severe disabilities. With majority of caregivers, as we have seen, 58% whooping being the parents, being, you know, the, the, the parent. Four in five of them do not have a source of income. For those with some source of livelihood, 91% of them earn a monthly income of less than 10,000, while 7.6% earn between 10,000 and 20,000 shillings. It's also worth noting the majority of these income streams are from the informal sector, with the family suffering economic risk due to unpredictability of these earnings. Waziri and peers, this is an area that shows that the burden felt by these families. The report also shows that about 17% of the families surveyed had more than one person with severe disabilities. The prayer from these families, Madam Waziri, is that the household best support be reviewed to individual best so that these families can have some sense of economic relief while looking after their loved ones.